Hi, fans of high quality entertainment. We are doing a live chat, except we're not live. We're we're recording it. Well, Glenn, I don't even know if Glenn is is live. But. Well, uh, let me check my pulse here, Larry. Hold on. So what we are yes, doing okay. today, and by the way, subscribe to Glenn Kellaway from the basement. What yeah. an awesome channel. What the hell are you, you doing? Have. Not subscribing to my channel. I know. Yeah. Don't get him mad. Don't. And, uh, he just did a video today on, on he was ranking the Yes albums he has. I didn't agree with all of your rankings, Glenn. Well, I didn't think you would, Larry, but <laughs> you must have liked some of them. Yeah, some of them, yeah. Uh, so we are going to rank our, our favorite 20 songs by the Kinks, starting yes. with number 20 all the way to number one. And I, I, I guarantee you, my number one is not your number one. Maybe not, but my number one is like really my number one. It's like like yeah. one of my favorite songs of all. If I did yeah. a if I did a, a ranking of my top ten songs of all time, it would be in there. Wow. Hmm. So. Okay, so you go first. What we'll do is uh, we'll just go do like three at a time, and then we when we get close to the top ten, we'll do one each. And and also before we start, tell us. Your feelings on the Kinks and how long you've been a fan? Well, I've been a fan right since the British Invasion days. I I, I was thinking I, I would if I ranked the bands from sixty four, sixty five, whatever during the height of the British Invasion, I would say Beatles, Stones, Kinks would be three. Like mm -hmm. I, I can't think of a band that I like more. But what's embarrassing to me is I have a very sparse Kinks collection. I've yeah. got like three or four comps. Yeah. And hits albums, and then I only have three studio albums. So and basically, I, you're not a fan of the King. I am actually embarrassed that I don't have more of their studio yeah. albums. Well, all I have, uh, uh, I have the Kinks are the village. What is it? The the village yeah. green preservation. Uh, I have that as well, which I got last year. And this this one I've always loved. I bought this. That's fantastic, Larry. Yeah, uh, 1970. You... So that's that was the only Kinks album I ever heard for years and years and years. Well, you gave that's me my that favorite. on the CD exchange, and I loved it. Like, yeah. I got to get then, that. I'm... And my compilation yeah. is, like, basically all of their greatest songs from yeah. mainly the 60s. Some 70s, too, but, yeah, I could definitely. So you don't have any studio albums either, except for one? I've got two. Oh, two, yeah, yeah, two. Yeah, we're, we're we should we should just end this video right now. We don't we, we we're not worthy. We're, we're gonna get a lot of hate comments. Yeah. So, I, and I've got Arthur, which I yeah. love. Yeah. And I'd I've like got, to hear that sometime in a CD exchange. I have Misfits, which I really like, which was an '80s album, yeah. I think, or maybe I, I the did, '70s. I did buy some of the vinyl records back in the day. Like yeah, and Steve then my Clark. comps are the Kink Singles Collection. Which is uh, has twenty five tracks on it, and the Kinks twenty five years, which has twenty tracks on it, and I got this cool one though. This came out on Record Store Day, I think last year. The Kinks Chronicle. It was the first time on vinyl since it was you, released you know in seventy two or that, something. I had that. I, I I think it was also known as the Black Album. Yes, and I had that in the early seventies, and that's when I started really loving. It. And look at this, Larry. It's very yeah. pretty, too. Wow. So this album, there was only 2,500 of them made. And uh, I was lucky enough to get one. And uh, I'm very happy about that. So I'm definitely, I, I make a promise to you here, my Kinks collection is going to jump up dramatically. I am going to start buying some studio albums. They, ha I looked it up. They have 24 studio albums, Larry. Mm-hmm. And they had, but you know how many compilation hits albums they have? 33. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who has more than that? Maybe the Stones? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> they have the most live albums. That's what yeah. I mean. That's And I then mean. when you th you think about like um, a big hit, uh, a big problem for them was they toured over here in 64 and then something happened with the union or something and they got banned. Yeah. yeah. For four years. Yeah. yeah. So that didn't Which, help their popularity here. It did not. And uh, yeah, and I saw the Kinks 
I looked up the date because I knew it was 87 or 88. They played Massey Hall, April 4th, 1988. Yeah. So it was a great show, except uh, they played all the hits and you couldn't expect more. Great. They're such an awesome band. But um, Ray Davies kept leaving the stage and changing his shirt. I don't know if he was having problems with, like, maybe he's had a rash or something and he kept changing it because he was sweating. He or... doesn't like sweating, yeah. It, it was weird. That that kind of wrecked the flow of the show, but musically it was amazing. I'm glad I got to see them. And they didn't fight on stage, the two brothers? They did not fight. No. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so Glenn, you go first with your first Okay, day. number 20 is actually a title song from one of their 80s albums, Low Budget. Mm-hmm. I'm on a low budget. It almost made my list, yeah. Love that song. Number 19 was a hit record in the 80s. I think it was the 80s. was Come Dancing. Almost. Da, 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 da. It's one of my wife's favorite King songs. And number 18, Larry, is a song that was covered by the Pretenders. Chrissy Hind and Ray Davies It were... is time for you to stop all of your sobbing. They were a couple. <laughs> yeah. Back yeah. then. Yeah. So that's my first three on the list good okay my first three uh yeah first three number 20 from the uh lola versus power man and the money go around part one Glenn. power man power man it w- when i had that album back in the early 70s it's like some of the songs i kind of ignored like power man but it's such a great rock song i just love it uh, number 19, Set Me Free, Little Girl. Might show up later. And number 18, kind of similar uh, mood, See My Friends. See My Friends is a good song, too. And, and one thing I've noticed about uh, these kink songs is you know within the first couple of seconds, like it, it's, you know it's the kinks, and yeah. it's so catchy almost right away. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. yeah, that they are very unique. Yeah, yeah, and Ray Davies has a very unique style of writing too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm what now? Number seventeen. Seventeen to fifteen. The song "Days." Yep. Which I think is Thinking on of the day. Village, is that on Village Green. It's right around that time, anyway. It was it, not on that. It album. was recorded around that time, but I think it was just a yeah. single. Yeah. yeah. Days, number 17. Number 16, All Day and All of the Night. All yeah. Day, which is kind of like, it was their follow-up to yeah. You Really Got Me, and it's kind of the same song. Yeah. But just, you know, that's number 16. That's three for me. I thought you just Isn't did it? No, you only did I? Yeah. 15, 16. Okay. 17, no, I'm 17 doing... 16, 15. Okay, number 15, Larry, Set Me Free. Wow, I've heard of that song. Yes. So we kind of both got that ranked about the same. Uh... Yeah. yeah. Number 17 is also from Lola versus Power Man, The Money Go Round. The Money, okay, you are uh, hitting I'm that a album. Deep That's cut a great guy. album, man. Yep. Yeah, there's deep cuts. Number 16, A Well-Respected Man. Oh, yeah. And the first of three Dave Davies songs, Susanna's Still Alive. Dave Davies is great, like kind of yeah. in the shadows of Ray. Yeah. Just yeah. as talented. And what album is it that has, it's one of these comps, I think. That has the Dave Davies, yeah, the great lost Dave Davies album mm, is on cool. the Arthur thing. So that's the second disc, yep. which is really, really good. Yeah. Cool. Okay, 14 to 12. Okay, number 14, Victoria. Speaking of Village Green Society, love that song. Big hit. Number 13. Living on a Thin Line, mm-hmm. which is, I think, off of Misfits. Or it's one of those, uh-huh. one of those around there. Yeah. Great kind of rock and tune. Number 12, Larry, is 
Misfits from the great album Misfits. That's one of their later, like if you're looking at late 70s to 80s kinks, that's probably their best album. Now, may I correct you, Glenn? What? <laughs> Our, uh, Victoria was on Arthur, not on Arthur. Arthur, yes. Yeah. 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 Because some somebody's going to those two albums mixed up. Section. I appreciate you correcting me, Larry. Yeah, I like correcting you, Glenn. I appreciate it when you do. Well, 14 to 12 for me. You know what, Glenn? I'm so tired, tired of waiting. Tired of tired correcting. Tired of waiting for you. Tired of correcting you. <laughs> and then number 13 is another Dave Davies classic, Death of a Clown. Yeah. And this was, was a newer uh, song for me that I had. I don't think I'd ever heard until I bought the Village Green Pre Preservation Society. Yeah. And it is David Watt. No, that's not on that. No. David Watts is it's, on. David Watts is on uh, something else, is it? David Watts. See, I'm, yeah, I think so. I think you're whatever, right around whatever. that. David yeah. Watts. It's, yeah. uh, Good song. it's a classic. I it is. It. Okay, so now we're down... This is 11 to 1. Should we just do one? So, at a time so do now? two. Do two. Do two. 11 yeah. to 9. We're going to be, it's going to be odd, Larry. No, 11 to 10, Glenn. 11 to 10. Okay. I'm going with the first song on Lola versus the Power Man and the Money Grabbers or whatever the heck it's called. It's the song, the acoustic song at the start. The I absolutely love it. The Contenders. Oh. As soon as I heard Fresh it, I, I love that freaking song. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then number 10. No. I oh, yeah, that's 11. right. Sorry. How are we? Oh. Right? That's why yeah, I said we. Yeah, 10. Yeah. So, so I'll do 10, and then you're going to do 11, then we'll do one at a time, right? Yeah. So my number 10 is the second song that follows the contenders, Strangers. Oh. Dave Davies. Another great Dave Davies yep. song. Dave's getting a lot of love today. Ray, Ray's not going to like that. <laughs> Okay. okay, my number 11 is I met her in a club down in old Soho where she drank champagne and it tastes like Coca Cola. Hello, yeah, I always love that song. I know you're not as big of a fan of it, but it's, it's a cool song, but it just kind of it's kind of campy and it just kind of gets bored with it, I think, more than anything. But I can't knock that it's a, not a great song, it was a big hit, yeah. And my number 10 is. From I'm trying to think, I think it's from Arthur Victoria. Victoria is from Arthur. You said yeah. that. I'm not going to correct you because okay. you're right. I'm always okay. right, Glenn. Okay, number nine. We're just doing them one at a time now, right? Yep. And when he pulls his frilly nylon panties straight up tight, <laughs> he feels a dedicated. Follower fashion. fashion. I yeah. love that song. What it, a great song. You see unique, him here. You see him there. Such a unique songwriter and singer and all that. And, yeah. You know, kind of the, the humor very, of them too. Very I mean, unique. When they weren't fighting, they were funny. <laughs> yes. And, and he, he told the story of the times that we were living in too. Like those yeah. kind of things yeah. were all really kind of topical of what was happening on the street. You know? Yeah. Number nine, a beautiful song called Days. Days. Thank you for the days. Yes. Number eight, the great Dave Davies, Death of a Clown. Yeah. Red songs into the death. Of... Yeah, it's a great song. Now, all of these are just total classics for me. They could almost be. Oh, yeah. Long. Yeah, the number next eight is Sunny Afternoon. It might reappear. They, they were the most British of the British bands, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Number eight for me. No, that was not my number eight. My number seven. So tired of waiting for you to correct me, Larry. <laughs> tired of waiting. Tired of waiting for you. Yeah, I had that at 14. Yeah. That almost sounds like he's falling asleep when he's singing it. I'm so yeah. tired. Yeah. Number seven, 
Dead and Street. You're a genius, Larry. I know I am. I've 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 told myself that many times. Dead and Street. Do, 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 do. My number six, Larry. Dead End Street. Wow. My number six is dedicated follower of fashion. There we they go. See him there. They do. They're, they're such catchy songs. They are. Yeah, you can't help but you, you can't get them out of your head once you start listening. Okay, my number five, Larry, is from Misfits. Rock and roll fantasy. Mm -hmm. Dan is a fantasy. Don't want to spend my life living in a rock and roll. Sing it, Glenn. Yeah. My number five is the final one by Dave Davies, Strangers. I uh, Mine is higher ranked than yours. So yeah. I love the song more than you do, Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> and th there's a video on YouTube. Well, Mom always liked you best, Larry. Yeah. There's a video of Dave Davies performing that acoustically. Oh, really? Just a few years back, but it's after he, he had his stroke. But it, it's still great. Oh. So I'll send it to you after. I would like number. to hear that. Yeah. What are so we at? Go. Number four. Yep. Larry, when I heard this song come on the radio in 1964, it was the heaviest freaking thing I thought I've ever heard in my life, and I still think it's one of the you heaviest really got rock me, Glenn. 45s ever. You really got me. You really got me. Unbelievable guitar now. It was just now, so are, are you talking about the Van Halen version or the no, well, the Van Halen just go away. <laughs> what a waste of time. <sighs> Number four, one of the most gorgeous songs ever, Glenn. Waterloo Sunset. Yes, Larry. I almost I'm, I'm I almost think, agree wait, with you. I'm thinking. I bet you that I'm don't tell me, but I bet you that's your number one. There you go. Because I'm a genius. Sure, spoil the whole video, Larry. There we Glenn's go. Glenn's number one is Waterloo Sunset. Yeah, why don't I just do it right now? Okay, number three. A well respected man about town doing the yep. thing so conservatively. Again, another song that just spoke of the times and yeah. It was number 16 for me. Yeah, good. Number three, ding 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 ding. You really got me. The Van Halen one. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Larry, lazing on a sunny afternoon. Yeah. Oh, one of the great songs of all time. Yeah. And the lyrics, of course, and. Yeah. And Dave Davies, his guitar work is just, he's a very underrated guitarist. Mm -hmm. My number two, Glenn, even though you say this is similar to You Really Got Me, it's actually, I, I feel it's better. It's, it's even heavier all day and all of the night. Great song. And I believe I read somewhere that uh, I think Dave Davies likes that more than You Really Got Me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think he, yeah, the lead the lead guitar part's probably heavier. Yeah. Yeah. Larry, my number one. Nobody's ever gonna guess what it was. Waterloo Sunset. Oh love what a shock. Song. Oh <laughs> surprise. I, I totally ruined that for you. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, uh, anybody about this uh, this song, if you have a uh if you want to see if you have a, an actual stereo system and you want to check that your speakers or situated properly and everything. This song was recorded intentionally out of phase, meaning they put the rec, the, the microphone, like say uh, Ray Davies' vocal mic was here. They had another one six feet back and another one over here, and they did the same with the background vocals. They had mic, so the sound would travel to the microphones at cool. different times. So if you listen to this song with your speakers and sit back and you're kind of in the middle, you can hear the background vocals surround you. It almost sounds like you have 5.1 surround sound, but it's, it's like, stereo. It's like ambience, Glenn. It's crazy, Larry. It'll freak you out. It's like you close your eyes and Ray Davies is there in your living room. It'll freak you out. Now, I got that information from Steve Hoffman from the Steve Hoffman oh, yeah. forums. He yeah. did a whole thread about how that was recorded and that it's a good way to, like, just sit back. It's unbelievable. If you can get it to work, 
it's it's nuts the the background vocals are like behind your head and you only have two speakers in front of you yeah cool so my favorite song so what do you think my number one is what am i missing glenn what are you missing sunny afternoon i actually i don't don't think this was even on your list i don't you got you didn't do sunny afternoon did you uh yep number eight oh uh, I don't know what your number one would be. My number one, my favorite kink song, drum roll. See, this is how I build up excitement for my number one. Yeah, yeah. Blue Blue mine, them, yeah. Your number one way back. Blue mine right out of the water. Yeah. It goes like this. I like my football on a Saturday. Saturday. Road on Sunday. Autumn Almond. I love that. Uh, you know what? I, that should have been on my list. I like that yeah. song too. Yeah, it's so all part song. of my optimal <laughs> That's it. You sound like Ray Davies. <laughs> Great song. But, but, yeah, I remember that from that album. You have the the compilation, the double, and yeah, I zeroed in on that as yeah. That's my favorite. It's so British, right? Yeah, He's talking about yeah. roast beef on Sunday. And, yeah. And yeah, that's a great song. Wow. So I guess cool. that's it, Glenn. That is it. That was fun, Larry. Yeah. The kinks need more love. And I yeah. promise sometime in the next few weeks, I'll be showing new kinks records on my channel. Yeah. And in one of our upcoming CD exchanges, it doesn't have to be the next one, but I'd like... Uh, Arthur? Whatever. Arthur, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can have Arthur. Oh, I can keep it? Well, no, you can't oh. keep it. Yeah. Are you how are you how are you doing with our CD exchange? Let's promote it while we're there. There's okay. You gave me you gave me Mick Ronson. No, you, Ian Hunter. Oh, sorry, Ian Hunter. Yeah, with with Mick Ronson playing guitar. You gave me Blue Cheer. Yeah, you Nick gave Cave. Me the, the Ansley Dunbar. Yeah, Retaliation. Paper. You gave me what were the other two? Nick Cave. Nick Cave. Oatman's Call. Yep. And what was the fifth one? I can't remember now. They're in the bedroom. Well, and and so any thoughts? Did you want to give anything away? Uh, there's or? one album that I need to listen to it more, but on the very first listen, I listened to it all the way through. It was painful, and I hated it, Glenn. Really? Seriously? But we'll see. I'll give it another couple chances <laughs> now you got me intrigued what were they yeah. again so it wouldn't be ian hunter because that's not painful ian hunter nick cave you seem to like nick cave blue so i can't cheer. believe it's that one nick blue cheer cave. i'll bet i'll bet you blue cheer is the one because you're not you're not you're 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 more into the campies you're not really into the you're not a blues rock guy as much as you're i'm a heavy guy stuff. Glenn. yeah i don't know i think i'm gonna guess that was blue cheer i don't know and what so did Larry, they give you you gave me Sly and the Family Stone, Life, uh, Sparks, Angst in My Pants. I've heard of them. Yeah, Larry. Larry's just, I didn't know if, know if anybody knows this, but Larry likes Sparks. Flo and Eddie, uh, I can't remember that album you wanted me to listen to. Moving Target. Really Moving Target. I haven't had a chance for that one yet. Alice Cooper. Yep. Alice Cooper. Easy Action. Easy Action. And the first Cheap Trick album. Yep. And were you surprised or anything at any without saying anything well so far i have only listened to two of the cds larry and both very i've listened to them both actually a couple times through and i'm liking them both that's all and I'm you hate say i love i'm very happy with both of them the cool. other three okay. i will get around to okay we've got time yes yeah. that's what okay. i figured we got so another week probably everybody subscribe to glenn Callaway from the basement his link should be in the description and and unsubscribe from me. Thank you. Yes, don't don't pay any attention to Larry. I, yeah. I want all forty two thousand of your subscribers to come over to my channel. Larry. Yeah. There's not forty two thousand people watching though, Glenn. No, I wonder what that's. <laughs> where where do they all go? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's YouTube for you, right? It's I know. It's uh, it's frustrating. <laughs> even I, I don't think I even get all of your video. No, I have to go to your page. Oh, he's got a new video. Yeah. Don't you ring up? Don't you have the bell pushed? Yeah. Really? But, but it that doesn't always work. 
yeah. yeah. I always clicked on your channel too. Well, I, I like yeah. clicking on your channel with the videos we do because I like to see the comments underneath and respond to them. So yeah, just yeah. some of them. So yeah. yeah, we appreciate the comments. Yeah. Okay. So thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Larry. We'll, we'll end this now, and then we'll talk for a minute offline. And we'll see you tomorrow morning. That's right. Bye. You're taking me to London, England. Yes. Yes. Flying it's going to be a long drive. It's going to be a little wet. B-O-A-C. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.